Hey guys, welcome back to Skyrim. This is Caffeine Gaming. So last time, Mercer Frey stole everything and we are trying to figure out where he went so we can go destroy him, essentially. And, okay, we need to go talk to Vex because Mercer's watchdog... Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. I haven't talked to anybody. I don't really care. Hey, Vex. If I see Ori, I'll pluck his eyes from his skull with my bare hands. I don't want uh, calm down now. Brynjolf said you had some info on Vald. That pig. Oh, I have info on him. More than you care to know. I don't want to know the details. I want to get on his good side. Vald? Good side? I think you have the wrong person. The only thing Vald understands is gold. A man after my own heart. Ah. So, buy him off? Sure, but he'll ask for a whole lot. I mean, you are asking him to betray Mercer Frey. Your best bet would be to erase his debt with Maven Blackbriar. If you talk to her, she might be able to give you the details. Of course, you could just run him through and take what you need off his corpse. I could care less. Alright, so that sounds good. Um, you could actually get extra work from her if you really wanted to. Help yourself to anything in Frey's name. And we're basically going to do that. Hey, can you upgrade my... Uh, what will you give me for these? I completely forgot. I stole some scrolls. And um, let's actually get rid of some of this. So, courage, we're going to get rid of. I'm going to keep the storm ash knock. I'm going to get rid of the candlelight. I'm going to sell the fireball. Not really what I want right now. Um... And Hysteria, that sounds good. Now, she's got a lot of gold, so we could actually, if we want to, uh, pawn off a few other things. So I'm going to actually do that. I have a lot of stuff. I've got Magicka, Stamina. Uh, might want to keep at least one Stamina, but I don't really care too much about those. Uh, Frenzy and Fear Potions. These can go. Our speech leveled up. Nice. Uh, I'm going to keep the Cure Poison because that can get kind of annoying. Um, I'm also going to keep the cure disease because there's some stuff that we can catch that um, I don't want. Anything else? Are there any duplicates in here? No. Okay, good. Uh, any weapons? Okay, <laughs> just take those. Thanks. Um, pretty much everything else that we have. Oh, here. You can have this. I definitely don't want to be carrying that around. And she does have some other stuff that we could purchase. That's actually not too bad. That's not very useful. At least weapon-wise, there's some cool stuff in here. Especially if you're looking to get some of the um, alchemy, or not the alchemy, but the enchantments. Uh, you could always grab some of those. And she's got lockpicks. No right, y'all are bent out of shape, I do have to say. So we're going to be heading back up to the world. Now, we need to go find Maven Brack. Uh, Black Briar first. I hope he turns up soon. He needs to answer for his betrayal. He does. So we could go and just kill Vald, but I feel like we are in the Thieves Guild at this point, and um, I think it would be far better for us to do things the old-fashioned way, which would be to. I don't even know what's going on here. I don't even know where Bra Maven Bra Blackbriar even is. Um. Oh, it's a miscellaneous quest. So let's actually make sure we do this. I have no idea what's going on over there. But we're going to go see Maven and clear off Vald's debt before we get going. Need something? Yes, milady. That unpleasantness at Helgen supposedly involved the dragon. It killed several soldiers before it departed. I want you to speak to the city guard. Make sure there's a contingency plan in effect in case Riften falls under attack. Yes, milady. I've also taken the liberty of preparing a private carriage. Just in case. Good. If Riften should fall, it's only right that its leader be spared. Really? I don't know you. You and Riften. Ma, what is your problem? Anyway, hi, Maven. In honor of your service in battle, I am hereby granting you permission to purchase property in Rifton. Talk to my steward if you're interested. I'd like to erase Vold's debt. Vold? 
Why would you want to help that idiot? He owes me a steep debt. In fact, he's lucky all I did was force him to work for Mercer. What'd he do? A few years back, I commissioned a unique quill from a good friend of mine in Winterhold. Bald was tasked with getting it here safely, and it ended up at the bottom of Lake Honric. He's in debt because of a quill? The wizards called it the Quill of Gemination, and demanded a tremendous amount of gold to have it made. If you can locate the quill and return it to me, something Bald was too stupid to do himself, I'll consider the debt satisfied. Okay! So, we're going to be going to get a quill, and I think... Divine smile on you, friend. Ah, we need 8,000 gold to purchase a house here in Riften. I don't think we have... Oh, we do. We actually do have that kind of money. Um, I'm not going to do that right this second, but, you know. Alright, so this is our first... I guess this is our first side quest that I'm going to do. And, um, oh. Here's interesting. Um, there is no marker for this. I had completely forgotten about this. There is absolutely, yeah, there's, there is, there is no marker. <laughs> so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to figure out which lake is Lake, um, what was it? Hon, Honrit? I don't even know. Um, and go from there. So give me one second. Okay. That's what I thought. All right. Let us go outside and um it's basically pretty much right outside which seems kind of weird to me but that's fine so let's uh let's just go out this way fishing do i look like i'm a fisherman you gotta do what you gotta do there buddy but i'm not a fish fisherman pretty sure okay so we are heading uh, a little bit to the left here and we're gonna be going towards golden glow which uh <laughs> I think the mercenaries are still there, by the way. So we do need to be careful. And additionally, on top of that, we do need to be kind of careful um, with this quest. I don't want to say careful with this quest. Um, if you have not started this quest, you can't get the item. So yeah, it's not here otherwise. So it should be somewhere between here and there. And it should be a little... Um, there should be a sunken ship somewhere in here. I gotta be careful because you can drown. Also, you can pick up some fish while you're in here. There it is! Okay, let me... It is right here. And there it is. Vald's strong box. Now we have to unlock this. That was easy. And uh, there it is. There's the quill and some gold, and we are good to go. Yeah, that wasn't hard, was it? So let's uh, let me turn this off for a second. Let's go ahead and take this back over to Maven. There is quite often things at the bottom of lakes. I found um, if you're like underwater, there's like almost always some level of chest or something hanging out waiting for you to be found. But in this particular one, yeah, it doesn't appear unless you've started the quest, so you can't, like, get it and then later go and, like, give it to her. So that's kind of sucky. Additionally, um, from what I understand, even if you decide not to do this, you can still do it later and give it to her. Even if, uh, even if Vald's dead, you can still do it. So I'm going to do this and make it a little easier and just clear Vald's debt. I don't want to have to fight Vald if I don't have to. I think he's, I don't know if he's the only enemy there or not, but, all right. I think that's all you need to know about this quest. <laughs> Let me go drop this off to Maven. All right, Maven, I have found you your quill. Okay. Sure, I found the quill. Really? I wrote that off a long time ago. Uh, well, I suppose I need to fulfill my end of the bargain. It wasn't that hard. It frees him from the debt, but I never want to see him in Riften again. Okay. Thank you. So let's go find Vald. Okay, so first things first, we could sneak in, but I think at this point we can go in the front door. Pretty sure. And I think that would be well worth it if we can just walk in. I don't have to sneak in, don't have to do any 
weird stuff. Yes, here we go. This door is barred from the other side. Okay, I guess we're not going in that door. Can we go in this door? Oh, this is the wrong manner. <laughs> okay, take two on this. We have to figure out a different way through. Um, do we have to go in on this side? I don't really want to. What was that? Um, so that went kind of weird on my screen. Um, I, I'm gonna have to double check on the recording if that actually failed. Okay, so I guess, I guess we're not going in the front door. Now I just got whacked in the face. Um, okay. Hey, dude. This is Mercer Frey's place and he don't like visitors. Now go away. I have something of yours. Of mine? What is it? Here, it's your debt with Maven. You're free. I can't believe it. How'd you talk her into this? Never mind. I don't care. I'm just glad I don't got to work for Maven anymore. Here, you did me a favor. I guess I owe you one. Okay, so we get Mercer's house key. Um, and he just leaves. Yep. He just leaves. So I think that one's also barred. Cannot be picked, of course. So I think... I think this is the mechanism. This isn't the mechanism. Um, let's see, where do I need to shoot to... Oh wait, this? Is this what I gotta hit? This thing. Okay, well, apparently... Apparently a bow and arrow would be really good here. Uh, dwarven bow, please. Is that just... That's just not gonna help? Is that not gonna happen? What am I supposed to hit? There's the door. Here's the mechanism. Oh, there it goes. Uh, apparently I have to hit it just right. Interesting. All right, let me actually favorite my new weapon because I don't have... Oh, wait, that's not the new weapon, is it? Uh, no, it was this one. I'm going to be using the Nightingale Blade. All right, so here is the manor. All right, so we are... I think we're pretty much free... Oh, we've got bandits. Um, we're pretty much free to do anything we want. And also there are bandits in here. So we're just going to... We're gonna ruin this guy's day. Come on, Lydia. We got day people's days to ruin. Like, absolutely ruin. Get him. Get him, take him out. There we go. Uh, calm down there, Lydia. All right, so apparently he also brought in bandits to be in his house because that makes an absolute ton of sense. Sure. Uh, let's go ahead and... I want to open... Right, I want to activate the... I just not open the... Okay, so I can't open that door for any reason, apparently. Um, seems a bit weird, honestly. But... That's fine. Uh, Lydia, you- can you, like, for once just get out of my way? Alright, what do we got in here? This seems to be, like, the master bedroom. Oh, nice. Um, I wasn't expecting to find Amethyst in the closet, but I guess beggars can't be choosers in this regard. He's just gonna leave his gold just sitting around. It's kinda nice. I can see again. Sun was coming in the window and blinding me. That was not useful. All right, let's head downstairs and actually head downstairs. Thanks. I don't have a lot in here. I'm actually very disappointed that there's just not a lot in here, uh, except for this sweet roll. We're going to take that. Thanks. Um, here's another one. Oh, some potions. Well, let's go check this room first and then we'll keep Wandering downstairs. Anything interesting in here? Here is a to the owner. 
I'm not accustomed to working under these conditions of secrecy, but your generous compensation for the inconvenience was more than adequate to complete the project. Both the balcony wrap and the floor mechanism were interesting projects, and I hope you find them functioning to your surprisingly specific specifications. If you should have any further need of my talents, please give me, a, please call on me again. Ah, right, because um, he uh, asked for those to be specially made. So there's a floor mechanism too. Is that what I'm getting out of this somewhere? Can we? I can't unbar any of this suspicious cabinet. Yep, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that for a second. Shopping list. Milk, goat cheese, turnips, cauterizing agent. Oh. Uh, I'll be right back to that. Yeah, I'm gonna want to go in there, but I wanna go down to the basement first and just kind of pick through what's here. Uh, like sweet rolls, apple pies, boiled cream treats, uh, potions, spigots. I'm gonna get booze out somehow, I guess. Eh, really nothing else of interest in here. Garlic. That might be useful against the vampires. Hey, 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 walk up the stairs, please. Which we haven't really suffered a lot of attacks from. That's kind of strange. Anyway. Let's uh, go in here and head on... Head on down. Um, wait, this is the room that we... Oh, there's like a whole second part of this. Alright, well, let's take the potion of minor healing and um, see what we've got. First of all, we've got pressure plates. Ah, interesting. Lydia, calm down. Okay, so we've faced these off before. You want to walk on the white ones? Unless you're Lydia and you're an idiot. Another pressure plate, so we're just going to avoid that. Ah, oh, there's a chest over here. Let's open this up. Gold, soul gem, uh, so, a ring. Useful. Did I step on that, or did you? Or did it just activate? Um, we've got some real, like... Oh, out! <laughs> we've got some real craziness in here, honestly. Um, I didn't realize there were more than two. I probably should have realized. Let me just heal up here, because... Ow! That really... That really hurt. I, why am I not able to walk straight? No, I was a little confused there. I wasn't able to walk through. Lydia will either eventually get here or she won't. Um, let me heal myself again. Is there not an off button for those? Alright, so we've reached the bottom of the, the place here. And we've got- ow! Alright, that door was trapped. We've got a dwarven chest here. Ooh, an amulet of Mara. Sure. We've got some... I don't know. Do we have all of these? Well, we're gonna take all of them anyway. You like to dance close to the fire, don't ya? Bunch of wolf queen stuff. I think I just grabbed that. I'll take it anyway. Troll slaying. I don't know if we've got the troll slaying one. I didn't want to take the other book, but I guess we're taking it too. All right. And, um, Mercer's plans. All right, so we've got something. What we got here? Many thanks. I'm not certain how you managed to get your hands on that item we discussed, but I'm more than pleased. I thought you'd simply wait until it was being transported from Castle Door to its final destination, but according to what I've heard, it vanished right from their armory. I wish I knew how you were able to slip by the guards, bypass the portic... Port porticulius? I don't know what that is. Unlock the armory door and break into that dwarven puzzle locked chest. You need to teach me that little trick sometime. I've left your cut in the usual drop spot and might have another job for you soon. R. Who's R? Well, we're going to take this. Apparently don't have that one. And the lusty Argonian maid. We're going to take that one too. Um, children's display case, huh? I, really? That was like right there, game. And in here, we've got Chilrend, which is a special weapon, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's a named weapon. And let's take a quick look at Chilrend. It is uh, 10 points of frost damage and paralyze. Did Lydia die?
Uh, she's gonna make it. Okay. So <laughs> we've got all of that. That was fantastic news for us. And this door continues down here. We've got the Ratway Vaults. All right, and if you notice here, we're kind of um, kind of up above, so you can drop down here and actually just head right over here. And it takes us straight to the Ragged Flagon. I kind of wonder if like he was able to climb up and actually uh, just kind of like get straight from here to there. Kind of sneaky, like really sneaky. All right. So, we've got enough time. Let's go speak to Brynjolf here and let him know uh, what we found. Since I guess he's kind of our leader now. Hey, um... We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of mercy. That's fine. He wasn't there, but I found these plans. Shore's beard. He's going after the eyes of the Falmer. That was Gallus' pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good set up for life we have to stop him agreed he's taken everything the guild has left and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult i've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her now she wishes to speak with both of us quickly we have no time to lose. i'm sure it'll happen when we get there we meet lots. all right so Carlia is over here let's go see what she has to say Hi. Okay, so we're gonna stand here and chit chat. Okay, so we're going to be meeting Carlia at the Standing Stone, um, and let's just let's just head out to the Southern Gate. How can I help? Uh, hi, Imperial Guard. All right, so we are um, right outside the Southern Gate here. Yep, and we're going to be heading up the mountain. So we do have a marker, so you can help figure out which way you need to go. But there should be a little path cut, is what she said, somewhere up here. And um, there's the standing stone. So here's the path. If you're looking for it, I'm just going to head straight here. But there is the standing stone. And we're going to be doing this next time. We're not going to be working on this today because we've already gone on for far too long. And they are already both here. So I will see you next time as we go. I don't know what we're doing. We're doing this. We're, we're going we're gonna to do this. So I'll see you guys then.